Hi, I'm Vicki Hoth, Education Coordinator for Handy Quilter. I'm doing this series to present the new features of the HQ Pro Stitcher being released June of 2013. The thing I'd like to show you is how to create a block from a triangle. So the features or the functions that we're going to use is we're going to bring in multiple designs and create this block. So I want to first bring in the block or the triangle and the triangle that I'm going to use is the leaf and circle triangle. Now I want to create an area. So I'm going to my area and if I press two corner I just want to create a 12 inch area. It's not in any relationship to the quilt. I'm just creating this to save for later. So I'm going to 12 inches in my width and 12 inches in my height. So I have a true square. Then I want to refresh this so you can, we can see what it looks like. I'm going to take this design and turn it so that it will go along this wall. So the start point will go to this corner. Or I could leave it like that, but I'm actually going to turn it so it will go right to that corner. So I'm going to rotate it. Then I'm going to use the alignment tools and I want to align it to this corner and I want to stretch it from this, the lower part to the top part or this wall to this wall of my area. So align it to the left and then use my stretch, vertical stretch and it will stretch it to those two walls. Now I'm going to go to file and I want to duplicate that design. Now I want to rotate it. Let's refresh so we can see that. And I'm going to place this design in this area. I don't want to flip it. I don't want to mirror it. I want to rotate it because as it, continue, as it stitches and as I rotate this, it will start stitching here and make a continuous stitch around. If I, if I mirrored it or flipped it, I wouldn't have a continuous stitching. Now again, I'm going to skew and align, align it to the top, and I'm going to align it, stretch it to the sides. Now I have half of my block filled. Now what I want to do is select all of that. So I'm going to my select and select all of it and go to file and duplicate that design. Now I want to take this design and rotate it so it will fill this lower area. So go to rotation and rotate that. Now I need to align it to this area. Align and I want to align it so that I can use that function or and I could use this and it is right in that area they've joined up and because I rotated them around it will make a continuous line design all the way around. So let's check this out. Let's select all, go to our quilt, and new start end, and let's just stitch this out. Let's refresh it so you can see it better. And we can just stitch that out, and it continues around. Look at the awesome new design it created. Now, I can now take this and save it. So let's go to, let's move our start point back to the beginning. Let's go to design and file and I'm going to save it and it, it asks me, it has two, uh, let's move this so we can kind of see that. I have two buttons down here. One says design, one says group or project. I can save it as a design and it becomes one design. So there's no jumps there or there's no start and ends. I can't pull it apart. If I save it as a project, I can go back in and shift it and change it and rotate each one individual. For this one I want to change, save it as a design so that it stays as one solid design. So I'm going to go ahead and save it as a design. I don't want to save it in triangles now because I've created a block out of it. So I'm going to blocks and I'm going to uh, maybe call it the same thing but maybe a leaf and bubbles. Maybe I'll change the name of it.
and then from there I will save that in my block area as a design. Okay, let's go ahead and close this. We can go into our file, open that up, and into blocks, and we will see that leaf. It's in alphabetical order, leaf and bubbles. So there's my new design. I can bring that in, and it brought it right in over the top of the other. Let's select that and move that aside. There's the, the one I was working with. Now, uh, this one is a design all, I can't break it apart. This one, on the other hand, I still have each one of those individual, and then you can see the one that's checked is the design there. So this is a fun feature. There's lots of triangles. I was just going to go into the triangles. There are lots of triangles that you can use. It takes, to do something like that, you need one that has a, a start point and an end point that goes to the corner. So some of these you can look at and see. The ones that have uh, their own individual jump and or start and end inside the design would not work to be continuous, but they may make a really awesome looking design. So have some fun with this and try it. See what new designs you can make.